So guys, today we are taking a look at how you can get maximum distance from a short backswing. I've spoken in the past quite a few times about the synchronization in the backswing. So just to recap for everybody, the key for the synchronization is that when your shoulders stop turning at the top, the arms stop moving, and this is a matched backswing. This is getting the maximum coil you can get in your backswing. Now, the key to being able to get the power is that because everything is matched at the top, okay, you can start really aggressively down with that lower body, but the arms are following the body. Now, what I mean by that is, okay, if I get a long backswing and I start down with a lower body, my arms are a bit trapped, so I'm having to slow down my speed with that lower body at some point to let my arms catch up through impact. If I keep that backswing shorter, and it's here, then everything comes down and it's so together here. I can hit it as hard as I want with my body through impact, and the club's gonna be able to react with me. So the power is gonna be there, okay? Just did an analysis recently on Duffner. If you have a look at that, you'll see how he swings it short. One great thing that I think you could see over him, if you see this over the years, sometimes with his driver, he's not always as synced up through the ball as he could be, i.e. doesn't always keep the arm moving with the body. Kind of stalls the body out a little bit. But because the swing is so synchronized, you can get away with a bit of hit with the right hand. The problem is, if you've got your arm so far back here, and you're trying to generate power, and you have to have that hit, the body's gonna to have to have stopped a lot, okay? Whereas when it's shorter, very easy to generate lag, because the arms are gonna be able to work into the body very, very quickly. But the great thing is, you're gonna be able to use that lag. Now what I mean about using that lag, is you're gonna be able to generate these angles here, and then you're gonna be able to let those angles release with the body rotation through the ball, which is gonna mean that that's where the maximum power is gonna come from because you're able to match the movements of the body to the club all the way and be able to do it at speed on a consistent basis. Thanks for watching that video, guys. As you can see in the past, I've spoken about having a short synchronized swing and this is how you can take advantage of it by really being able to get that lag and compression on the way down. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Any suggestions you've got for videos going forward, please comment below, let us know. We always take a look. So any videos you think you'd like to see, let us know. Talk with you again very soon and thanks for watching.